Hey guys, I'm P-Freak. Welcome back to Rocket Power Beach Bandits. Last time, after dealing with some quote-unquote god in a volcano, we infiltrated the golem industry sort of like secret hideout through the vents. We were a bit sus in that department. And after turning off a fan, we were finally able to get even deeper and not have to worry about getting ourselves chopped up via the fan. In this part, we're going to continue on exploring through the HQ and hopefully find out what exactly they have planned for us. This must have cost some serious dinero. Hey, I'm impressed. Can we go home now? Come on, guys. Last one to the top is totally lame. I mean, yay for trying to make it all like fun and games, but you guys realize you're inside a freaking volcano, right? It's not really much room for fun and games. Just saying. Anyways. This, uh... It is an interesting little hideout, though. Kind of reminds me of the hideouts that were over in Toontown, the uh, Toontown MMO, so. Uh, oh, these are familiar. Just destroy some ships, and there. There we go. Hello. Any gold coins want to show their face around here? We have five of them we got to look for. It's kind of funny because you look at the gold coin. Like, we were wondering where the hell all the gold coins were last time, considering how close we are to the end of the game, actually. We are pretty close to the end of the game, in case that wasn't obvious. And, uh, yeah, I guess they just shoved all the good coins here. Oh, this looks interesting. Alright, that enabled an elevator. Cool. Yeah, I guess they just shoved all the gold coins to be in this one, um, in Mono Mountain. Let's see. Because well, we had two areas where there were six coins while we were trying to ride through them. Then we had five coins, was it four or five? Four coins to look for before. After we dealt with the bot, after we dealt with the uh, mini boss, would it be a proper boss? Anyways, after we dealt with him, then we have the five coins to look for in the vents, and now we have five more coins. So it's like this is where they put all their gold coins, huh? Kind of seems like an uneven distribution to kind of make this a last. Oh, hello. And you don't die in one shot. Okay, gotta hate these ninja guys. Just die. Yeah, I kind of feel like it'd be a lot better if they actually had the exploring for the gold coins extend further, like, throughout more of the areas instead of it all just being crammed within Mondaman itself. Got another elevator thing to open up. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion, but it's my opinion and I'm sticking with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like my collect-a-thons. I enjoy seeing actual progress to how far we are to gain 100%. I do not like the sort of vague, sort of, like, completion goals that some games have. Am I going into big... Is that everything I explored? Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure there are no gold coins in me, please. I don't like the games that are, like, really vague on how you get, like, perfect completion. I don't like the games where they actually go over 100%. Like, friggin' Dust. Dust a, um... Elysian Tale, that's what it is. I love that game. That game is so much fun. But I have a problem with the fact that it's... Okay, first of all, that I have a problem with how many friggin' pucks it took to take care of that guy. But I have a problem with the fact that it goes over 100% in terms of completion. I think the max is allegedly 116, but it's like, there's nothing in game to tell you that. So what is the... So what's the truth? Again, that game is 100% one of the best games I've ever played, but that one little thing is really bugging me. And it's like, if that's the case, then what am I missing that 1% on? I've been stuck on 115% for so long. <sighs> Whatever. You know, I just realized, speaking of 100% of games I 100% or in this case never 100%, I've still been meaning to play the um, that South Park RPG. Uh, what's it called again? Not the fractured one, but the uh, prequel to that. Oh, Stick of Truth, that's right. I mean to replay that, I've not played that in years. Uh, I remember it being really fun, but I never did 100% it because of all the Chim Pokemon you gotta look for. Or Chim Pokemon, whatever the hell they're called. So. Okay, so we. You know what? Screw you. Screw you and the ninja baggy clothes you wrote in on. What do they need all this lava for? So is there like. Lava in these tubes. Anyways. Is this gonna take it back up, or am I? Oh no, it's taking us up. Oh, checkpoint. And we still have not found one gold coin, so that's not concerning at all. 
I do like after you though that after you've collected a gold coin, they don't like screw you over and have to make you recollect it. So I can at least say that's a good thing about this area. And when you're like going back to regrab co gold coins, you don't have to complete the level in order to actually 100% get the gold coin. All right, let's see. Is there anything? Do we get anything if we go down? Doesn't seem like it. Like I don't see any gold coin down here. Any other passive route we can go through, so let's just go up. All right. Now oh, there's a lot of climbing in this area, isn't there? It's kind of annoying. Like we were briefly introduced to it back in the lakes, but now it's just everywhere. Any gold coins? Any gold coins want to show the face? Nope. Okay. Now we got something blue up here. Oh, it's crystals. That's cool. Like, you always see these big crystal formations just about in any game with caves. It's like, are these, do these actually happen in real life? I mean, probably they had to get the inspiration from somewhere, right? Uh, I'm fine with my fire pucks for now. I don't need the electric pucks. Also, I've realized that these drill robots really don't pose much of a threat if you just ignore them. It's kind of funny. Alright, well, I made it all the way to the top and I didn't see any gold coins, so. Well, this is scary. Yeah, we can just run right by him while he's drilling up and he basically won't bug us. Not successfully bug us, anyways. He's probably chasing right behind us, but. There we go. This. That guy back. More of it. Yeah, I need to this one. It's melee him. Thank you. Don't waste your bullets on that. There's a ladder down here. I don't know if I want to take it. Hmm. Seriously, all the gold coins here are giving me paranoia. The fact that we have not found a single one is giving me some major paranoia. Uh, hmm. We can jump on these cables. Can these take us anywhere? Oh, those look like Hold on, that looks like a pathway that we can get, or like a doorway we can go through, unless I'm completely wrong. Let's see, hop on this, then hop on this. Like, what would be the purpose of us being able to actually hop on these if we were not supposed to go over there? Definitely like a, looks like something's over here. Oh, hello. That actually kind of spooked me a bit. There's a door here that we can go through. Is this the way we're supposed to go? Is this like a secret like, secret thing that I noticed? Kind of looks like the way we're supposed to go. Okay, I'm going to go back and see what that ladder entails. Bruh, I thought I destroyed... The, I guess I didn't destroy the platform. For this one. Oh well. Uh, no, I 100% did destroy these spawners. It just... Unloaded them briefly and now they are reloaded. Okay, so yeah, that definitely tells us this is, that's the way we're supposed to go That's good I guess Well, there goes all my fire bullets. Okay There's a ladder right here. Let's see where this takes us Yep, I knew it. Oh, we have two gold coins. Okay, I guess that makes up for my constant paranoia. But, uh, I think I'm gonna take the safe way. There's probably a ladder on the other side, so give me a moment. Yep, ladder right over here. All right, and we just walk to the end of the pipe and we'll get our coin. For me? All right, back going through the proper way. Yeah, so that moment right there, everything behind me just unloads and it loads up everything here. That makes sense. I mean, that's kind of how games work. They just constantly load and unload things, so... There we go. Two of these bastards we gotta deal with. Awesome. At least they don't, like, spawn on top of you. Is that a freaking grenade? Those guys can shoot grenades out? Okay, I never knew that, actually. I didn't know they had a second attack. That's... Oh, hi. 
You're gonna be obnoxious, aren't you? That's interesting. I uh, definitely don't want to fall into the water. What the hell is keeping these things afloat? Is this, are these a whole bunch of like superconductive magnets or something? Uh, oh, we do have a gold coin. Good thing I looked around. Well, I mean, I don't know, superconductive magnets. You know, at this point, with the fact that robots exist, I shouldn't really be surprised about anything. I sh do not need to go to this platform anyway. Nope. Right, it's this platform we have to go to. Anything around here? Nope. Looks like we just need to hop into the air vent, jump up, try not to fall as we move on back over here. There we go. Those look, I guess, dangerous. I guess. What the hell is the point of this hallway besides just having a robot there? There's really nothing back here? No, no, wait. Maybe? I can't see a damn thing in there. What is the purpose of this? Yeah, there's nothing back here. Unless it's like a pit we can fall down in and then this is how we backtrack. It's probably it. Alright. Yeah, we have some steam we can deal with here. Man, I love steam. Yeah, steam's alright, I guess. Yep, see? If we fall down this pit, then we have to take the long way back. As I did not intentionally mean to show. God, that jump did seem rather long, so give me a moment. Okay, there we go. Let's see, can I... Okay. I guess we got a time wait for the steam vent to back up. There we go. Alright, nice. I think we can just, yeah, we can just jump over these for the most part. And a burrito! Nice. Alright. Okay. I think that's everything. Let's see. Okay, I just realized I've not even had lunch yet. Burrito actually sounds good. Like a proper burrito as well. We have those frozen burritos that are like just meat and beans, which are not bad, don't get me wrong, but I like a proper filled burrito with like lettuce, tomato, sour cream, uh, cheese sauce, that sort of stuff. Kind of why I like Taco Bell so much. They have they have that sort of thing, so. Even though it's not really the thing I eat usually whenever I go to Taco Bell. And that thing definitely threw a grenade at me again, so... I guess they have grenades for a close combat. Interesting. Oh, great. Okay, they got the bouncer. Useless bouncy pucks. And we got even more of them. Okay. Yeah, there's this air... Oh. There's a super sock puck we can, over here we can replace it with. I will take that. Thank you. I think there's any gold coins around this bottom floor, are there? No, it does not look like it. Okay. Guess we gotta go up. Uh, well, here's where all the parkour in the game actually comes into play. I mean, we had some parkour elements before, but I think this is just where most of the parkour actually comes into play. Now the question is, is there a golden coin on the other side of this? Doesn't seem like I hope there's not. I really don't want to replay this. I'm just saying that right now. With how long this single level, this single level has been, I really don't want to replay it. Right. Now we can hop on this. Okay, this will go around and actually show us whether or not there's a gold coin we missed. Does not seem like it. Okay, good. Nice. Safely landed on that. Got the ca I'm really fighting with the camera here, in case it isn't obvious. Like, genuinely, the camera does not like how this is playing out. But it looks like we're almost at the top of this thing. Is this going to be the end of the level? If that's the case, that's a bit concerning. I'm still missing two gold coins, so... Ugh. That's... Fun. Fun, 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 fun. There's a robot spawner over there. Uh, I'm worried I'm gonna have to like look up a guide or something as to where the other gold coins are. All right, so this thing's gonna take us around. There's a good 
Yeah, there are no gold coins anywhere around here. Huh. What the hell is that? Uh, only one way to find out, I guess. Oh, I guess it's a new level. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to look up to see where the other gold coins were. But, welcome to a new level. We have to look for a monorail pass, according to the tooltips. Hey, you! We have not seen you guys in a while. I remember when you were basically the worst guys we had to deal with. Actually, no, the helicopter guys were a lot worse. Alright, there are three gold coins around here. We have another one of these guys that just spawns those little rolly guys. I wish these robots had, like, proper names, or at least I knew what all their proper names were. I know, Bear Moondibot, we have the God of the Mountain or whatever, God of the Volcano. That's about it. Uh, hello. Okay, I guess you infinitely spawn those. I thought we just had to defeat. Not speaking of infinites. Not the best uh, puck I want the infinite stuff on, but whatever. Am I supposed to like turn around and constantly confuse you, or? Oh, I'm about to die. I am about to die. Oh no. I guess I do just gotta hit him like several hundred times or whatever. Even if it looks like the pucks don't actually land. And that's our pathway through. Awesome. I'm at one bar of HP. Uh, please, guys, do not kill me. Come on, I need some healing. I don't need any more ammo. Oh, God. I'm mostly just checking around here to see if there are any golden coins around here. Because now I'm super paranoid with the fact that I've missed several gold coins now. I am, of course, recording this after I've got all the gold coins in the racing areas, but now I'm actually missing some exploring gold coins. Alright. This place looks to be a bit more industrial and less mountainized. Uh. Let's cross that. Oh. Guess I need an excuse to load a new level. Okay, thank god. Checkpoint. Alright. Oh my god, there's so many robots here. Jesus. Is that a... No, that was a gold coin, but I'll take that as well. Ah, there are two of the gold coins. Oh, there are all three of the gold coins. Well, that was awfully useful. Well, they just said to avoid the uh, electric panels, so... Oh, there's so many robots here. Holy shit. Ooh, a burger. Come on, I jumped. Oh, uh, whatever. I guess we gotta just destroy all those robots again. Thankfully, we do have a checkpoint here. Okay, there are homing pucks here, so... That... Destroy you... Where's... There it is. God. This is stressful. And of course they replace the open pucks with a really useless puck. God freaking Christ. Alright, we just need to Oh god, I'm getting motion sick. It's too many flashing things all at once. Why is this game such poorly designed when it came to its uh, reticle system? Like this even though it's so poorly designed with its reticle system, I still kinda rely on it a lot for my aiming, so it's like I don't know. It's like, what else am I really going to use this thing? What else am I going to do? Am I going to not use it? I can still use a thing and say it's bad. I can still heavily criticize something, even if it, even if I'm using it. Hell, that's how I learned how to criticize it. Because of how bad it is to use. Am I just rambling now? Of course I'm rambling. I'm a freaking let's player. What do you expect? Let's play... Was that friendly fire I just saw? I guess. These guys have friendly fire. Sweet. 
That's interesting. Okay. Let's grab these gold coins. Come on. Do I have to destroy all these guys in order to actually advance? Probably. So, okay, here we go. Now we're talking. I really wish I could move during these. Oh. Okay. This is starting to get a little precarious. As much fun as infinite firebucks are, I kind of do need to be moving around a whole bunch of this. So let's just get the burger, heal up. Nearly yeah, okay, to death. At least when we do hit them, it does stun them. Pretty pretty so that's cool. Okay. Are there any other robots around here? They say an elevator's right over here, so... Maybe I didn't have to actually destroy all the robots, I just had to head to the elevator or whatever the hell this is. Ooh, just die. Oh, fuck it. Okay. Alright. Can I go in? Yes, I can. Okay. So we still have not found a monorail pass, but this does take us up to the third floor, so... Let's see what we can find around here. Maybe we can actually find the pass, or... No, this is the first floor. Okay. So I guess this is first floor, and then the other floor was... Floor B2. Uh, two. Basement 2, or whatever. Alright. Got some fire pucks over there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this actually, but if you die, or I guess get knocked out or whatever, I don't know, these guys have weird time manipulation things. Anyways, if you die, um, while the enemies will respawn, any set spawns for pucks will not. Or at least I'm pretty sure they don't. So if I grab those fire pucks over there right now, and if I faint, then they will not respawn. So keep that in mind. Okay, I'm about to die again. Ah, damn it. Did I get a checkpoint up here at least? I completely forget if I did or not. Nope, we're back here. Okay, well, at least I know I don't have to go grab all the gold coins again, so I can just follow to wherever the next floor elevator is. Hello, goodbye. And he just disappears instead of coming along with me. Alright, give me a minute. Alright, uh, we're still trying to look for that monorail pass. Maybe we need to go actually to the next elevator. Hmm. I'm gonna try to actually avoid these guys as much as I can. No, the elevators are all pointing that way though. Hmm. Just trying to take a look around. Ah, there's a checkpoint here. And there's a door we can open. That's a good sign. Is that supposed to be the monorail pass? Moment, you sorry sack of silicon! You call that moxie? Huh. I didn't know he actually made another appearance. I completely forgot about that. Uh, interesting, nevertheless. Okay, I think now that we got that, we just head back to the um, area we were at before. Oh god, that is so loud, Jesus Christ. Okay. I'll see you guys back over in the previous level. Oh! Uh, hello. Guess we found a new little room I... did not realize this existed. Interesting. Okay, my screen's going haywire. What is... is this supposed to be like a lounge area or something? I mean, it's interesting, but... Like, why does this exist? Huh. It's not like there's a gold coin around here or anything, either, so... I mean, interesting that they have it in here, I guess. Nice little Easter egg? I don't know. Uh, 
All right, back in here. By the way, I really like this music, especially. It's like a little James Bond thingy sort of music. Okay, I do believe that this is the pass that we need in order to get in here. Judging by these symbols I see over there. I definitely have to look up where the other gold coins I missed are. All right, there we go. Unless, oh, nope. I was hoping that maybe they showed me the two gold coins right there. Officer Shirley. I bet we can find out a lot about Gollum's plans here. No problemo, Squidman. Just watch Twister Rodriguez filmmaker extraordinaire as he does his thing. Yeah, well just keep an eye on where you're going, dude. There's plenty of wrong turns and wipeouts ahead. We're following you, remember? <laughs> Alright, so we're in little Twister Cam mode. But this is a kind of a weird one where we're on a single monorail and we have to try to figure out what exactly, what directions we need to go. Come on, work me. Oh, I guess it worked. That's interesting. A lot of portraits of, like, Eric Gollum Jr. and stuff. Huh. Suspicious how he takes up a majority of that area and not his father. Uh, I guess we'll take this way. Oh. I see. So we have to actually move the monorail left and right in order to avoid uh, getting knocked over. Okay, well that housed nothing at all. There are three gold coins around here though, so... Oh, here's one. Alright. It's awfully loud and obnoxious. Let's keep going left. So once I've exhausted all lefts, I can just keep going right instead of trying to remember whether I'm going left or whether I'm going right. Here we go. Huh, those look like the drawings that are on the zine. Interesting. Kind of. Hmm. wonder exactly what those are. Alright. Converge. Go left again. Looks to actually be the danger zone, so... Avoid everything. But I think with all the danger zones, there is going to be a gold coin, so... Okay, first of all, what would even be the use of having these different rails in, um... I guess... Oh, shit. Whoops. Well, that sucks. Okay. Back to my overthinking of things. Why exactly... What's the practical use of this? Why does this exist? Besides just gameplay reasons. That's what I'm trying to think of here. Okay. Oh. Wow, how's the lava one making me struggle the most? I'll see you guys at the end of it. Okay, there we go. Alright, and we got our gold coin. Nice. Okay. So let's see. I think that's all the like turn, different twists and turns around here. Like different uh, pathways we get to choose from. We should be getting back to the beginning in a moment. Yeah. Okay. So now we have to go through this again, but this time we'll be taking all the right turns. Or right things. Come on, work. Why is this going so slow? It's kind of obnoxious, I'd rather be doing this at my own pace, but nope, we have to follow the monorail space. It's basically an auto-scroller, which of course there had to be an auto-scroller in this game. Alright, I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, taking the pathway to the right this time should lead us to some more evidence. Let's see... Right through here, what do we have in here? What the hell is that? Like the computer room. What is that machine? And why are we taking a picture of that? It's like a dome of lava or something? I don't know. 
interesting stuff nevertheless. And taking it right here leads us to more stuff we gotta avoid. Yay! Okay, there, there. God, really? Okay, sure, whatever. First we had pillars, then we had lava, and now we have electrical currents. Okay, sure. Bruh. Okay, what, am I able to just stay like this? God, this is actually a lot more difficult to determine what exactly is safe for me to... how exactly it's safe for me to go through with these. What? Okay. I guess I just gotta quickly switch over or something. Okay. So, yeah, I can avoid that one going that way. This. This one, like, these two, like this. Is that all of them, or do we have more? That. There we go. And we got the third gold coin. Okay, so this last right uh, shift we gotta take should get us the last piece of it. I guess technically you do gotta go through all these like twice again. It, that's kind of annoying. I've noticed that's a trend with this game. Is that some you gotta go to a lot of places, go through a lot of places twice in order to get everything 100%. Okay, what do we have here? Another thing of like that. Oh, is that supposed to be like a laser going straight from Monda Mountain over the ocean shores? I guess, and then they recreate that. Huh. It's like a boardroom meeting room. Interesting. Okay, well that's all four photos. We should be able to access that one uh, right turn we couldn't take before, so... I guess let's head up over there. I'll meet you guys over there. Hey guys, go check this out. Fire it up and show us what you got, Twister. Let's see if it's good enough for the scene. One, two, three, four. Four good photos showing what Gollum Industries is really up to. Way to go, Twister. Way to go, team! Soon we'll have enough evidence to bust Gollum once and for all. Well, I guess he's trying to create an earthquake to, like, summon a tsunami to destroy ocean shores. Which, yeah, that's pretty diabolical, not gonna lie. But, with that all said and done, though, I'm gonna call it quits here. We've been at the, despite the fact that we've only done, what, three levels? Yeah, we've been at this for almost 40 minutes now, and it's kinda getting a bit long. So that's gonna be it for now. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media links, all that will be in the description. Next time, we're gonna figure out how to shut off this earthquake machine, and hopefully not have a tsunami hit us over in ocean shores. I'll see you guys then.